what is it? Ninety dollars. Eighty nine dollars. Eighty nine dollars. Because it doesn't because it doesn't fit in here. Okay. Here we go. This should do the trick. All right. How's that? flight attendants just came over and handed me these he's like I'm, I saw what they made you do I'm sorry man he gave me these yeah you can have them buddy wait before you book leave a two dollar tip for saving you eighteen dollars and sixty four cents your support helps us deliver the best in hotel deals. Here's your new total with the tip. Come on, give us $2 for doing nothing. Like genuinely, this is just e-begging. You're asking me to give you $2 for nothing. You're trying to tell me that you did some extra labor creating a coupon that saved me 18 bucks? You're really telling me that? You're trying to tell me that I need to tip you for a digital product? Whoa, increase your storage size. Do you want to allow us to use up to 1.8 gigabytes of storage on your iPhone? Go ahead and click allow. Go ahead, this is definitely not a scam. This is definitely not a virus. What type of ad is this? I'm pretty sure most of you guys watching right now have encountered videos online or articles online talking about how people have become completely desensitized to advertising online to such a degree that it's almost useless to promote your product and business in that way. Cause people will just ignore whatever you're trying to put forward. And this is why 90% of ads online are just viruses. It's, it's just malicious. Just an insane amount of plastic for what really amounts to a handful of mints. Wow, we really just like wasting materials now, huh? We just don't care. The moment that the whole world found out that recycling plastic was a scam was the moment all of us just leaned into polluting more. And Jesus, I'm just noticing that there's four Tic Tacs per package within the giant Tic Tac thing. Four individual mints. Service fee increases when using a discount code. This dude received a bill instead of a coupon. <laughs> they gave him a negative discount. That is so funny. I'm pretty sure we all know why they increase the service fee. They don't really want to lose out on money, but I want to know what the justification would be. If I had to go to the Fiverr headquarters and put this picture in front of their CEO and ask them why they would increase the service fee, I would be poised and ready to receive all of the BS. It's somebody's job to justify this service fee. I know for a fact somebody is collecting a whole salary to make sure that this works perfectly every single time. Company is charging me for being inactive. Also charges me for deleting an account. Dear Jordan, we're notifying you of updates to your current account agreement that will take effect on September 8th of this year. The following changes will impact you only if you stop using or abandon your account. An inactivity fee of $5 per month after 12 months of no financial transactions and an additional achievement fee of $20. And if you're not already pissed, in addition, the account closure fee has increased from $2 to $10 and the cost of an express recorded card has increased from $25 to $30 due to additional underlying processing costs. It's really crazy how these corporations operate with no fear. Like they really sent this guy this email with the fullest expectation that this guy was going to comply with these fees. It really blows my mind. It really just boggles the brain cells. Cause if I were to send somebody this type of email, I'd expect them to show up at my doorstep with a bomb strap to their chest. Oh my God. It even says extended release. Whoa, no way can this be legal. No way. Obviously this is not Adderall. Obviously this is not the stimulant that they're trying to market as. Adderall is a legitimate prescription drug, something that you can't get your hands on at your local gas station. And what really gets me about all of this false marketing here, all of this ridiculous marketing, is the fact that at the very bottom it says active ingredient clinically what? Tested? What's the active ingredient? Rhino horn? What did you put in this? If I had to make a real educated guess, it's probably just caffeine, like all of the other like nighttime stimulants that you can buy at your local gas station. But it's ridiculous that they're marketing it under Addy. Oh my God, I was right, bro. Take a look at their patent number. They <laughs> their patent is a method of grinding up coffee beans, specifically green coffee beans, to extract the caffeine. And in their abstract, they say that their method of grinding said coffee beans and putting those products in their pills has created unexpected effects in those with ADHD and ADD, specifically an increase in focus and concentration. Wow, what an impressive crock of shit. They're basically saying that coffee makes people focus. Who would have thought that? Who would have known that observation has never been made before?
Oh, looks like we have ourselves another victim. Another victim of the textbook scam. This time is a little bit more unique. Instead of a build your own textbook, which we usually encounter in this subreddit, we have somebody encountering the other problem where you can't copy and paste text from a book that you spent 160 US dollars on. At that point, I'm becoming petty. At that point, I'm becoming a super villain and I'm just screenshotting every single page. From there, I'll have an entire book that's copied and then I'm releasing that book on internet archive. I'm 35 years old and I've had internet since AOL 2.0 and I was just clickbaited. It's his personal chef, by the way. Personal chef? What you're talking about? Oh my God, no way. That's how they tried to write the story. The person who put together that title knew that it was going to be cropped out on the trending page on Google, right? All of the trending news gets cropped if the titles are too long. That is smart. That's intelligent. Somebody's collecting a check to do that. And I despise that fact. I despise that somebody's using their whole brain, all of their intelligence to just clickbait people. Advertising a college football game over 10 hours before kickoff on a TV network that won't broadcast the game. I enjoy college football, but do you really need to do this sci-fi with a permanent graphic on a countdown timer? Dude, I can feel this guy's pain. There's nothing better than watching a random Harry Potter movie in the middle of the day. I don't know what it is about a random Harry Potter marathon on like ABC Family or FX, but just something about that hitting at like 2 p.m. right after work. Oh my God, especially if it's Prisoner of Azkaban, like bro, I understand your pain. Like straight up, this has to be annoying. And now you have to deal with it for eight hours and 45 minutes. I would just be devastated. I would feel like my whole evening was ruined. When I made this account at 12, there was no age requirement. Now that I confirm my age today, six years later, this happened. Yep, yeah, more of the site is becoming broken. For whatever reason, people who are confirming their age when they're actually an adult are starting to lose their accounts. I don't know what Elon's doing, bro, but it's bad, man. Whatever you're doing is not working, dude. The site is molding. It's getting rustier by the day. I think everybody on the planet is just waiting for the website to just completely go offline at some point. And from there, we'll be free. We'll be free from Twitter and all of its pain that it's brought the world. And I hope that we would learn the lesson to never make it again. I paid for a Windows license and now Microsoft is shoving ads onto my operating system? Use Linux. That's the solution. That's the only way that you'll be free. I know Linux is a little bit intimidating, but there's a plethora of tutorials online on how to completely optimize that operating system and use it properly. It's nice. Notice of gun confiscation. Actually, we're gonna give you a free gift if you sign up to join the NRA. It really be your own, man, and it really be the ones who advocate for you. For a lot of people, including myself, this is your worst nightmare. Receiving any sort of letter or any sort of notice that somebody's gonna come and take your firearms from you. And to be honest, they're not gonna give you a heads up. The ATF never knocks. They like to kick doors in and set kids on fire. But that's besides the point. The fact that the NRA is doing this and really going out of their way to fear monger people into joining their organization is so fucking grimy and disappointing. Microsoft has decided that I don't get to use video editor anymore because they want to push their new editor that has subscription tiers. There's no solution to this behavior. It's just going to get worse. To be honest, you could just get a whole new editing software, but I get why people use the in-house software because you're not trying to make a fucking feature film. But no, I guess even the worst and most bargain basement video editor that you have access to is going to require five to 10 bucks a month to use. All right, time to try this new strawberry filled stick snack. Looks a little weird. Looks like shoelaces made out of meat, but I'm sure it's gonna be tasty. Oh my God, they're scamming me. They're hiding air behind the label. They requested personal info in order to unsubscribe from an email list. Wow, they want your full Govy, mobile number, postal code, and date of birth. I might as well give you my social and my birth certificate while I'm at it. You know, just have everything I have. You know what, matter of fact, I'm going to request all of the cookie information that Google has collected on me for the past 10 years and send that to you too. <sighs> all right, all right, maybe if I just go to the restaurant, I, I, I can, Forget about the snack lying to me, that strawberry snack. I wanted to try it, but they were trying to scam me. But here we go. I'm going to just go ahead and click the menu button here because maybe it's like a digital menu and I can order on the... Oh my God! Is that a QR code? I left my phone at home, man. Now I can't eat. Uber now sorts by default to more expensive rides and doesn't remember your sort preference after you change it. All Uber rides are expensive. Even the most bargain basement Uber X, you know, Uber economy rides are 40 bucks now. I remember when the lowest rate rides were like sub $10 and that was like five or six years ago. 
I love how everything that was supposed to be convenient and cheap is not cheap anymore. Delivering food, nope. Getting ride share, nope. Nothing, nothing that came out during the mid 2010s is affordable anymore. <sighs> okay, okay, that pissed me off. I, I can't eat candy, I can't eat food, but look, at least I can relieve myself in this restaurant bathroom and just clear my head. I'll, I'll, I'll just go to a different restaurant. Is that an advertisement? Is that an advertisement for medicine while I'm pissing? I can't have one moment in my life where it's quiet. I can't even focus on my stream. I can't even aim right because I'm too busy being sold on depression medicine. And our final post of the day is about someone's birthday. Isn't that so precious and special? This young lady received a crazy art set for her birthday. And she's about to show us what the inside looks like. Oh my God, it's full of fucking air. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aileris aka Panda Daddy and I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you like the video and if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe fam what you doing watching videos and not subscribing and if you're old make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. I know I've been missing in action for three weeks and that's because I've been working on Morbid Reality that video takes forever to find content for so I took the time to make sure that video was made perfectly and I really hope you guys will enjoy it when it drops this week and as always we gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible, a big thank you to AFK Junkie, Zenith2A, Mr. Sandman, Mike, Sleepy Dragon, Power Lover, Sherry Morrison, Tron Destroy 23, Fitch Chivalry, Co Connor Purvis, S16, Squish, Rare Days, Mr. Bean, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Faneker, Bloody Hunter, Keeley, Dundernass Hawk, Swiss Patreon user, and Noah, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description one on my merch store and one on my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.